Hello, this is Gary with the devotional for today. I'm going to be talking about just one verse from Ezekiel for this devotional, but I think it's an important verse for us all to know at this day in 2021. Let's get started. The verse that we're going to be using today is from Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 22. And I'm going to read you that verse, and then we're going to go back and look at the two halves of it. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strengthened the hands of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life. And it goes on to describe the punishments that shall come to those prophets who do these things. Let's go back and look at this verse. We're going to do the first half, and then we'll do the second. Because with the lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad. The prophets were not prophesying to the people correctly. They were corrupting the word of the Lord, and they were making the righteous people sad to hear the words of the prophets and of the priests and of the leaders of their religious activities speaking untrue to the words of God. Have you not become sad when the uh, prophets and the uh, pastors and the bishops of our own country, all different denominations, have come out for apostasy, for error, Has it not made you sad if you are following the Bible, doing the best you can to follow it literally true? These people are making you sad whom the Lord has not made sad. This is an error. This is something that resulted in the people who were leaders of the religious company leading the people astray, and they went into captivity because they had no leader and they did not have the word of the Lord being taught. And the Babylonians came and got them. The second half of the verse is even sadder. The righteous can be made sad, but still remains righteous. But here we have another statement. Strengthen the hands of the wicked. They were strengthening the hands of the wicked. The prophets were even while they were making the righteous people sad. And their hands were strengthening the wicked that he should not return from his wicked way. This is preventing the wicked people from turning around and repenting. And so you strengthen him in his wickedness by promising him life. The way to eternal life is to do wicked things. This is even more evil in my mind than making the righteous sad with error. It is leaving the wicked unaware of their dangerous situation. And this is the greatest problem with these false prophets of then and of today, as they bend the word of God into weird shapes and expunge parts of the Bible in order to make themselves pleasant to those who are wicked. This is an old error. It's from 2,500 years ago with Ezekiel and is from yesterday with our own country and our own denominations. Make sure you're in a church that's following the Bible, what God has said in his word. To preach the scriptures, not as something optional or as something that's expendable, but as something that's treasured and can lead us into eternal life. The lies, they may seem pleasant to the people hearing them, but they are poison. We must not encourage such things. We must not be aligned with it. I encourage each one of you to stay in the Bible. If you are, you've built your house upon a rock. Well, that's the devotion for today. Let's close with a short prayer. Our Heavenly Father, We ask your blessings on this lesson and those who listen to it. Help us not to preach 
falsehoods and promise eternal life to those who believe falsehoods and help us to preach the truth and thereby not vex the hearts of the righteous. And help our church as we get started to be characterized by being true to your gospel, true to the Jesus Christ who died on the cross for us. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you all. The Lord be with you.